miracles. What do you think about them? Because that's in Jonah chapter 2. Some people find it hard to swallow that Jonah got swallowed. What do you think about that? And they see the great fish as a literary device. I've got friends who think that. Here's why I don't. Three little reasons. Number one, it doesn't seem here, and I'm all for literary devices in the Bible, but it doesn't seem in this book that a literary device is being used. <clears throat> the text doesn't indicate it. Number two, why I think it's a big fish that swallowed Jonah. Number two, there is stacks of sacred and secular evidence that there is a God and that He has created everything. Credible evidence, not held by lunatics. It's there. So if we believe that the living God can create the cosmos, it isn't that hard for Him to get a fish to swallow a man. I just don't think it's a big stretch for him after what he's done. If you believe one, you could probably believe the other. And third, the most difficult miracle in the Bible and in world history is not that a fish can swallow a man. It is the Lord Jesus Christ saving sinners. That cost the blood of God himself. The salvation of uh, the Ninevites is the miracle of the book of Jonah. What it takes to take someone who's dead in sin and they love it, to suddenly not love it and to love God, is the miracle that cost the life of God himself. So if you don't believe miracles, but you believe that you're a Christian and that your sins have been forgiven, I think there's a logical inconsistency there. Not a single thing in Jonah is less believable than sitting in front of me are people who have been saved from sin and are now on the way to heaven and have affections for the Lord Jesus Christ. So be careful if you think that he can't handle a fish, but he can handle you.